Jurassic Park completely reshaped everything people knew about dinosaurs. For the first time ever, dinosaurs were being portrayed as intelligent bipedal animals with accurate shapes and were generally considered scientifically accurate. However, being made 22 years ago, the movie doesn't exactly reach that mark anymore. That's perfectly okay as science obviously changes as we learn more and more about it over the years. However, the misinformation spread by these movies continues with each new Jurassic Park follow-up, and the brand new Jurassic World movie continues to have the same problems that it did 22 years ago. I'm here to address the inaccuracies that the movies have shown us, explain how they could be corrected, and provide their proper excuses in that order, so make sure to stick around if you plan to argue. The most blatant and glaring piece of misinformation, besides the fact that we can't actually bring back dinosaurs, is how inaccurate their Velociraptor is. To begin, a bio. Velociraptor was a genus of Dromaeosaurid that lived in the late Cretaceous period, containing two species, Velociraptor mongoliensis and Velociraptor osmolske. Problem number one, size. One of the biggest issues that Jurassic Park had with their raptors, as well as other dinosaurs, was their utter size. In the movies, they appeared to be as tall as people, and, according to Wikipedia, about 13 feet long, which couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, they were only 7 feet long, and 1.6 feet tall at the hips. It's crazy how far producers will go to bend the truth in order to make their monsters scarier, but there is some speculation that it was just a mistake, where the names of different raptors were mixed up during the movie's production to produce what we see today. One large argument that supports the plausibility of these gigantic raptors, however, was stated in the film Jurassic World. Most dinosaurs were genetically engineered to be better monsters, upping the fear factor in their attractions. Through genetic manipulation and selective breeding, velociraptors could have the ability to reach these immense sizes, but never naturally. In addition to these points, there are other raptors from real life that closely resemble those from the movie's sizes. Deinonychus antiropus was slightly smaller than the movie raptors at 11 feet long. Utahraptor Ostromesaurum was larger at 23 feet. Ostoraptor Kabazeb at 16 feet, and Achillevator Giganticus at 17 feet, all belonging to the same family of dinosaurs, Dromaeosauridae. Of these dinosaurs, Ostoraptor or Achillevator most closely resembled the movie raptor's sizes, so if you get past the name, movie Velociraptor-like dinosaurs actually did exist in real life. Problem number two, feathers. By far, the most criticized problem of the Jurassic Park series is the fact that none of the dinosaurs in the movies had feathers. In modern science, we have deduced that practically all dinosaurs had some kind of feathers. Herbivores had quills on their bodies, larger carnivores had semi-feathers that spread across different regions of their bodies, and many dinosaurs, like Velociraptor, had fully developed feathers across their entire body. If you would like to learn more about this, I will provide a link in the description of another dinosaur YouTuber who covers this concept perfectly. Essentially, it's crazy that Jurassic World, the new and more accurate movie, didn't include feathers on their dinosaurs. Or is it? Again, we revisit the idea of genetic engineering. They can get away with saying that they genetically altered their dinosaurs to be without feathers to make them more frightening. Potentially, just like size, dinosaurs like Velociraptor could be engineered to be featherless and have scaly skin. It all just depends on what they want in the movies. In conclusion, the Jurassic Park Velociraptors weren't exactly scientifically accurate, but who said they needed to be? A movie is a movie, and Jurassic Park never claimed to be correct. Those of us who care enough about this quote-unquote issue should be smart enough to understand the difference between a movie and real life. However, there are several dinosaurs, like the Ostroraptor, that closely resemble the Velociraptor in size. And just like size, velociraptors in the movie were genetically altered to be without feathers to appear more menacing. All in all, it's just another lesson to be learned. Always do your research before you freak out and argue. Please be sure to check out my other videos on dinosaur controversies and make sure to leave a reasonable and intelligent comment. Thanks for watching.